Blessing to you all. Come on in on tonight. Got a word just for you on tonight. Sister Cassandra, God bless you. Good to see you. Come on in and share and lift up your hearts. Good to see each and every one of y'all on tonight. Amen. I believe God has a word for you. He said, for the anointing shall destroy every yoke. Marcia, God bless you. Good to see you as well. Wait just a, a minute or two for people to get in and we're going to flow with our fellow delay. Brother Travis Miller here. Back on for another Midnight Cry. God bless you all. Hell on the replay, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching, here on, uh, watching in on tonight, amen. Blessings to you. Hope all is well. Stay connected to God in this season, amen. Let my call. Many of us are desperate for God to move. You are desperate for God to move. Like you saying, God, I need you to move right now. And God's going to do it. Stay hungry for him. The word of God say, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for it shall be filled. In this hour, don't worry about bills. Don't worry about meeting deadlines. God say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Receive it on tonight. Yeah, keep that desperation. Stay hungry for God. God can ready to do it not by power, nor by might, but by his spirit. Just flowing with our fellow delay. Want to release that with somebody on tonight. Our own time world for us, people. In this hour, keep your heart pure before God. Keep seeking God in desperate measures. I don't care what it look like. The battle's not yours. It belongs to the Lord. I don't care how your back is up against the wall. Walk by faith and not by sight. I really need to encourage some of you on tonight because some of you are just in a place and you you just seeing a fiery darts and fiery trials. The word of God said, do not find it strange when fiery trials come up on you to try you. So you're seeing things to the left and to the right. You can't get a positive without a negative. You're not, it's just not going to happen. So God has to send you through to prove you. God got to send you through to see if you're still going to believe. Are you still going to have the same praise? Are you going to keep the same attitude? Are you still going to be a giver? God is looking at that. Do you understand? God's getting by by cool. Glory. God getting ready to bring some of y'all to the forefront. God hasn't forgot about you. God got some of y'all in reserve. Meaning God getting ready to use you on time. God getting ready to do some things in your life. Miracles getting ready to hit your life. Receive it on tonight. This is not the hour to give up. This ain't the hour to throw in the towel. Because you know what's so crazy about it? Right when we right when we getting ready to give up, that's when God getting ready to move. <laughs> right when you about to throw in the towel, that's when God getting ready to move. God is trying some of y'all. He trying your patience. Somebody saying, "Well, I can't wait. I'm trying. To, I'm feel like giving up." That's your problem now. Because you don't know how to wait on God. You wait on everything else. You wait on your paycheck Monday through Friday. Some of y'all get paid twice a week. You wait on your paycheck. Why you can't wait on God? The same God that gave you the paycheck. The same God who paid the bills. You got more faith in man than you do God. You got more faith in your bank account. Come on now. You got more faith than your family and members. You got more faith than the, than the boss man. But who you think? who do you think opened the door? All promotion comes to the Lord. All increase comes to God. That's why you got to learn how to give God glory. You got to learn how to magnify God more than every situation in your life. But I'm just coming on to give you a word on tonight. Listen, go ahead and share this. God bless each and every one of y'all. I've seen a couple of y'all come in. God bless you. Love you so much. Uh, back on for a midnight cry. And we're going to flow with our fellow delay. Man, I'm jumping straight into it. And I had this word entitled tonight, the boldness of the righteous. Meaning some of you getting ready to get your boldness back. Some of you getting ready to get your confidence back. The word of God said, don't cast down your confidence. Meaning when you confident in something, can't nothing sway you. Can't nothing, can't nothing make you go to the left or to the right. Can't nothing cause you to waver when you're confident. When you're confident in your faith, 
when you're confident in the things you do. Look at, think about the things that God has, has gifted you to do. Some of you are talented and may be cooking and may be playing basketball, playing football. See, you have a confidence. You have a confidence that you can go in that kitchen and cook. You have a confidence that you can shoot the threes. You have a confidence that you can score the touchdown. We have to have that same confidence in God, first natural, then spiritual. So a lot of times we look at that, see, God want to know, see, are you going to be confident in me? Are you going to take me at my word, though I said it? Apostle Paul said, I believe that which was spoken unto me. When Apostle Paul was out in the ship, and they, they, had, they were faced with the hurricane, the rock Ladon. They were faced with the hurricane. But Paul said, listen, do not fret. Not one life will be lost. You know why? Because an angel appeared unto me and let me know, listen, that I'm going to believe that which was told me. Some of you have to contend for the prophecy. Glory to God. Contend for the prophecy that was spoken into your life. Contend for the word that was spoken over your life. Now, what I'm doing is, man of God, I'm holding on to that word. Yeah, I got a prophecy, but I also know that prophecies can be conditional. There's a lot of ifs in prophecy, so you can mess that prophecy up due to your disobedience. They say, well, how so? The children of Israel received the prophecy. They received the promise right to go into the land flow for milk and honey. But what happened? They did not enter in because of their unbelief. Now, wait a minute. They had the prophecy. They had the promise, but they messed it up due to their unbelief. They murmured and, and they complained. Now watch that. When you murmur, you complain, God consider that unbelief. That ain't faith. That ain't faith when you murmur and you complain. When you're not giving God praise for what he's doing, you're not giving God praise and staying content. It, it, it's not about, it. see, what contentment is great gain. Do you understand? It's not about your money. It's not about uh, what the increase on your job. God gave you all that. Learn to be content and learn to give God glory. I had this word tonight, beloved, called the boldness of the righteous. Because many of you getting ready to get that boldness. You getting ready to get back in that realm with God. You getting ready to get back in that realm of perfection. Back when no matter when the trials came. No matter when the bills was piling up, you, you had a confidence in God to say, God, I know my bills are piling up. I see what's going on in the natural, but you told me to walk by faith and not by sight. You told me not to go by what I see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get in the spirit. I'm going to get in the spirit. And I'm going to not call my call, say, God, I'm going to say, God, give me a glimpse of what you're getting ready to do in my life. Show me the things that come. God, give me the foresight to see what you're getting ready to do up ahead. That's when you get in the spirit. So now when you get in this carnal realm, when you get in the carnal realm, what you'll do is you'll start doubting. You'll start wavering because of what you see. You're going by what you see. That's why you're getting faint. You're getting weary because you're going by what you see. Now you're losing strength. Because you focusing on everything in the natural. You focusing on the negative. You focusing on how, on how they cut your hours on the job. You focusing on how your marriage is messing up. You focusing on the sickness in your body. See, you're not in the spirit. And that's why I say, beloved, this is the season that we get our boldness back. I'm talking about also holy boldness. When we can declare that word and stand flat footed and declare what thus says the Lord. When we can prophesy on cue without having to offend anybody, without our backs up against the wall, without worrying about being uh, worried about being persecuted by man. We know man going to do that anyway. If Christ was persecuted, Christ was talked about, Christ was rejected, despised, all kinds of stuff. And look at us. We can't take nothing. We can't take folk talking about us. We can't endure no kind of trials. We can't endure none of that. We can't endure these little people on our jobs and stuff that go on in our home. Beloved, this is why I say we need boldness. We need boldness. Watch this. But I'm going to show I'm gonna show you what's going on. I was actually going to title this Casting Down Fear. Because when you got fear, that ain't no boldness. When you got fear, you scared, you timid, you weak, you, you, you intimidated. Don't you know that's a trick of the enemy? Beloved, I don't want you to be ignorant concerning the devices of the enemy. 
I want to give you strength on tonight through this word to get your boldness and your confidence where it needs to be in this season. Watch this, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 7. He says, For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, he says, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God didn't give us the fear. So who, where, where did the fear come from? I believe that fear is a tactic of the enemy. I did a post a while back, months ago, how I was talking about how fear will leave you stagnated. Fear will stop you from walking forward in success. Fear will stop you from moving forward in ministry. Fear will stop you from being a better husband. Fear will stop you from being a better wife. Fear will stop you, your progress. Uh, what fear would do, it will stunt your growth. It will stop your progress. It will stop your progress in the natural. And it will stop your progress in the spirit. That's what fear would do. Fear is the opposite of faith. So look at what's happening. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What I, what I come to know is, uh, Brother Michael... That fear is nothing but faith in the negative. They're saying, what are you saying? Fear is faith in the negative. Meaning some of y'all got more faith in negative things coming to pass than what you do when God spoke to you. You don't have faith in the positive. You got a bunch of faith in the negative. So no wonder why the bottom's still falling out. You got more faith in things going wrong. That's fear. But see, you fearful full of anxiety, full of worry. He said, for God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God didn't give me the spirit of fear. I shouldn't be tossing and turning with panic attacks. I shouldn't be having nightmares about my bills not getting paid. I shouldn't be having nightmares about my ministry crumbling. I shouldn't be having that. See, that, that's the opposite of faith. See, we're not going to fear, but we're only going to believe. We're going to believe with us, says the Lord. We're going to stand on God's word. And we ain't buckling and we ain't breaking. We coming up out of fear. For God did not give us what? The spirit of fear. But of love and the power and of a sound mind. We casting down fear on tonight. You're no longer going to be stagnated. You're no longer going to be weak. You're no longer going to be breaking. You're getting ready to walk in boldness. Watch this. I really want to show y'all this song tonight. Give you this word. Because as people of God, it's time for us to activate our faith now. Some of you say you have great big faith. Some of you say you got faith to move mountains. But if you got the faith like you say you got while you buckling over every little thing. If you have the faith like you say you have, then it wouldn't be so easy to throw in a towel. If you have faith like you said you have, you wouldn't be breaking over deadlines and, and wouldn't be feeling like giving up if you had that faith. Now, I'm going to tell you now, you know what trials come to do? Sister Lee, trials come to see where you are in your faith. God will test you with a faith. Are you still going to believe me? Are you still going to magnify me? Are you still going to praise me? Are you still going to keep that same smile? Are you still going to keep that, that same giving heart? <clears throat> One thing about a trial, a trial will let you know where you are in God. A trial going to let you know what rim you in. Are you in that corner? See, are you in the spirit? Because one thing about it, if we in the spirit, we're going to declare what God says. We're going to decree. Matter of fact, fact about it. Now, when I start seeing a lot of negative, I'm decreeing and declaring. I'm going to start decreeing and declaring what God said I had. Thus says the Lord. That God said, I'm going to be the head and not the tail. God said, I'm going to be above and not beneath. Forget the fear and the, ne the, the faith and the negative. Meaning that faith and the negative, watch this. That fear is that faith and the negative. Y'all got more faith in the negative. You got more faith in things going wrong. You got more faith. My car getting ready to, my car getting ready to break down. You got more faith and, and just everything going wrong. You got faith on everything breaking tomorrow, all this other stuff. You got to get rid of that fear. Watch this. And this, this is what we need to get right here. This, this is the mindset. Keep this scripture in mind. Some of y'all better bookmark this one. Proverbs chapter 28, verse number one, he says, For the wicked flee when no man pursue it. But watch this. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. We're going to be so bold. 
Beloved, we're going to listen. We're going to take everything that the enemy stole from us. We're going to get to the point where we're going to prophesy what God said. We're going to get to the point where we're not afraid of man. We're going to get to the point where we're going to say we'd rather obey God than obey man. We're going to get to the point where we can obey God's word. We're going to get to the point that we come up out of fear. And see, I had to tell myself, fear is the opposite of faith. Because any time that you can sit and you can worry and meditate on everything going bad, you can meditate on, I mean, look at how, and look how, look how this mind works, how the enemy attacks the mind. Fear is nothing but a tactic of the enemy. Look how we get and we meditate on things of death. We're not even speaking life. The word of God says life and death is in a pile of tongue. That's that, that's that faith in that negative. When you worry about, I mind quote say, you worry about everything but God's word. What did he say? Think on things of a good report. See, we ain't even thinking on things of a good report. You're not thinking on, on God's word. You're not thinking on what God spoke to you. You're not thinking on uh, about the, the faithful things, the heavenly things. That's when you get in that spirit. Beloved, the word of God says the righteous are as bold as a lion. We got to get that boldness back. We got to cast down fear in this season. I cast down fear in Jesus' name. We're going to walk in liberation. We're going to walk into what God said we can have. God is getting ready to set us free. And, I, and I'm not trying to no longer be stagnated. I don't want to be stagnated. I don't want to be at that mediocre place. I want to come up higher in this season. Fear will stagnate you. Fear will stunt your growth in the spirit. That's why many of us are still at that same place. We're afraid to operate. We're afraid to be talked about. We're afraid to move forward. We're afraid to forget that which is behind. See, that's what that fear does. Fear will have you stagnated. Fear will have you stop right there. And, and, that, and that's a crazy thing to just be stagnated because of fear. Not want to move forward. You know why? Because you got that faith in that negative. This is what you got to cast down in order to be free. This is what you have to cast down in order to move forward with your life. Don't you want more in this season? Don't you want more of God? You can get more. Let my call say, many of us have settled because of fear. You settle for less because of fear. What happened to that boldness? Don't you know you can get in a realm that, listen, nothing will stop. You can get in a realm where ain't nothing going to scare you. Ain't nothing going to back you up against the wall. You can get in a realm where you just walk in liberation. You can get in a realm where you just walk forward in everything. I'm, I'm talking about getting in that realm where can't nothing upset you. Getting to that realm won't nothing shake you. Won't nothing shake your faith. I'm talking about when something do come from the left or to the right, guess what you're going to do? You're going to stand. You're going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You're going to stand still and decree and declare what thus says the Lord. You're going to begin to watch this stuff manifest in your life. You're going to see the blessings manifest. You're going to see God exalt you in the spirit. When you get that boldness, we need that boldness. I want my boldness in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you on tonight, beloved, casting down fear about the boldness of the right. He said the, the righteous are as bold as a lion. I'm talking about the enemy can't do nothing to us. He can only do something for us. And, and I know what it looks like, beloved. I know that your, your back is up against the wall. I see everything that's happening. But get rid of that faith in the negative. That ain't nothing but fear. <laughs> the faith in the negative. Imagine if you focus on things of a good report. Imagine if you, you focus on faith. You stood still on faith. You wasn't going by what you see. You wasn't walking by sight. You walking by faith. And that's how we have to get to the place, Sister Mary. We got to get that boldness back. Some of you just need your confidence. Get your confidence back in God. Some of you done lost your confidence. And sometimes that happens. That's what happens when you slip, when you step out of a realm with God. You'll lose that confidence. You won't have that same confidence because not all oh, trials and tribulations. 
things that happen. That see now you and not knowing this stuff was designed to make you. The trial was designed to take you to another level, but what you did was you started breaking because of the trial. But you didn't be called Shandi. You didn't focus on the word, what the word say, that all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord and for those who are called according to his purpose. You didn't look at it, what the word of God says, that many shall be the affliction of the righteous, but he shall deliver us out of the mouth. See, what you did was you got stuck. You got stuck. You stayed there. But one thing you have to understand, a righteous man falls seven times, but he get back up. It's time for you to get back up again. It's time for us to break up out of fear. It's time for us to move forward in ministry, move forward in our assignments and our mandates. It's time for us to get that boldness in Jesus' name. Listen, I love you so much, and I want to give you this word on tonight about the boldness of the righteous. We casting down fear, beloved. And I, I know how we look and we see and we look around. We look at what's happening in the earth realm. Beloved, that's nothing but signs. The media putting fear into you. You got death all around you. Beloved, in the midst of death, you know what we're getting ready to do? We're getting ready to speak lives over ourselves and those connected to us. We speak in life over our children. We speak in life over our spouses. We speak in life over our co-workers. We are speaking life. We ain't speaking death. Let the world speak death. The world going to be the world. We speak in life. Guess who we are? We are children of the light. Do you understand? He said, these damastos say, he said, these words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Beloved, you have to understand what God said. We getting ready to walk in full liberation. Your boldness is coming in Jesus name. Love you. Just want to encourage you on tonight. Let me release a quick prayer. Father, a, a prayer. Father, we thank you on tonight. Just for a word for your people, God, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do in this season. So, Father, I decree and declare a manifestation of your spirit. God, I decree and declare a visitation for your people on tonight. Father, we ask you to break fear, tear down every hindrance in the spirit, remove every spiritual blockage, and set your people free in this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you. You need more information on the profile. Amen. Listen, I'll be back on tomorrow. And like I say, I'm, I'm back to a place um, that I, I'm going to fulfill my assignment in this season. I'm back to a place um, I feel like this is the season that we, we get what God has for us. And I feel like this is the season that I have to be faithful uh, to my faithful few, uh, my mentors, my spiritual babies, um, we got to have this word in this season. We got to have this word when there's so much going on, with so much on social media and, and the things that we see. Beloved, don't go by what you see. Because if you go by what you see, you're going to get discouraged. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to put fear into you. Listen, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. You heard the scripture. But of love and the power of a, of a sound mind. The righteous are as bold as a lion. We getting ready to walk into liberation in this season, amen. We casting down fear and we getting our boldness back. Love you. I'll be back on tomorrow night with the word, amen. God bless you.